Hello world, Chatty Dad one coming at you here tonight. Um, have I got a story for you? This comes from the uh, European Union Times. Um, and it says that Barack Obama has gone to his secret bunker to uh, hide out for the big event. Obama retreats to secret bunker as big event draws near. A truly grim, urgent action bulletin issued by the Minister, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs earlier today states that the main intelligence director, directorate has received word from highly placed from a highly placed source that Obama has retreated into his secret bunker. He canceled his trips to Asia and uh, with many of his top aides and went to the mysterious and newly built White House bunker in preparation for what many in the world's intelligence agencies are calling the big event. And, uh, wow. Important to note are that these um, GRU sources were notified by their Pentagon counterparts last week that Obama was preparing to invoke the powers given to him under 50 USC chapter 13 to hold that various American states are now in a state of insurrection thus allowing him to invoke the National Emergencies Act under um, section 50 USC section 1621 and invoke the highly controversial um, community our continuity of government plan for the United States allowing him to in essence rule with dictatorial powers Wow um, down further on it says um, joining Obama in his plan to take over the United States this bulletin continues are his journalist cohorts, otherwise known as the prostitutes. <laughs> I don't know if this is for real or uh, just a story, but wow, it's definitely bizarre. And, uh, you know, these people usually put out stuff that's for real, I mean, not all of it's fake. It's, I mean, they're putting out real stories all the time. Um. Anyways, known as prostitutes, who now include America's top conservative reporters, who were summoned yesterday to a secret, off-record White House meeting with the president. To what end is Obama ordering his propaganda media allies to prepare the American people for this bulletin further states um, can be gleaned from their recent reporting which includes um, former US Assistant Secretary of the Treasury Paul Craig Roberts, who is advocating that Obama declare national emergencies and rule as a dictator. U.S. Congress member Sheila Jackson Lee, who is advocating that Obama declare martial law. New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman, who is advocating that the American people stand with Obama 
as democracy itself is at stake. Now, I don't know um, what states are supposed to be in insurrection um, against the government. I know that there were states that were talking about succession um, and this and that. It may be some of these states that are absolutely refusing to go through with Obamacare, um, you know, saying that it's un unconstitutional and uh, that it shouldn't be. Um, I don't know. Um, there's been reports that the whole thing was planned in advance, that this whole shutdown thing was planned in advance, and that uh, everything is going according to plan. I mean, I know that there's some major stuff going down pretty soon. Um, I don't know for sure if this whole thing with Obama going to the secret bunker is for real. I mean, they're claiming that it is. And if this is truly the case and these states are in insurrection, then they will unleash the hundred and some odd thousand of Obama's private army that he says he was going to make as strong as the military. Um, he stated this, that he wanted to have a private, you know, private force in the United States here that was as strong as the military. And we know that he's been training some youth and uh, they've got some major, major firepower and they've got they've got a lot of equipment and all kinds of stuff so you know I, I don't know guys um, I'll leave the link to this thing below so you can go check it out and judge for yourself I know that Dr. Bill Weld um, his life has been threatened he is um, you know, he's, he's really having a tough time right now because the attacks are coming hard and heavy. They've, uh, taken his business, um, accounts in the Yellow Pages out of, off online because he's a doctor and a lawyer. Um, but, uh. They're, they're coming, coming after him full force for the information that he's divulged about the nano bots or nano um, nanotechnology that everybody's infected with that can induce our that can make our bodies think that we have a severe case of the flu which ends up killing 98% of the people that uh, it that these nano, um, nano nanites attack and uh, the military has a certain frequency that they use to turn these things on and once they turn them on and you know tell them to uh, to go they they attack and uh, they really do some damage I mean Basically, that's what kills you with the flu, is the diarrhea, the sick, the pain, the fever. All these things is what kills you in the end. The body just can only handle so much suffering. But, um, I mean, banks are stocking 20 to 30 percent more cash. They're fearing run on the banks here to begin possibly next week or the week after. Um, we know that the police are militarized and they are shooting first and not even asking questions later. We know that there was a 107 year old man killed by the friggin uh, 
SWAT team or whatever. Um, I just heard on the news Monday um, here in Florida, close to where I live, that a man, a young man, was shot and killed by police because he had a pocket knife and lunged at them. Okay, they're not playing around anymore. They're killing people. They're not trying to talk anyone down or out. They're killing them. Just like they did with um, Mrs. Carey in Washington. Now they won't let the family see the body. They're going to show her photographs to the family. Um, they won't release her little girl to their custody. She's still in the custody of Washington, D.C. China's worried about us not paying our bills big time. And uh, now we have Korea saying that if we come on through there with the aircraft carrier, they're going to freaking blow us out of the water. I mean, I, I don't know. Things are heating up pretty good. So keep your eyes open. There was a guy on the um, the train out in California, and people were sitting there in the car that he was in, and they were so involved with their with their you know tablets and iPhones and this and that that they didn't notice when this guy pulled out a 45 and pointed it at a guy, put it back in his pants, pulled it out again, scratched his face with the gun in his hand, um, kind of waved it around a little bit, nobody noticed. This was shown on the security camera from the train. And this guy ended up finally blowing somebody away and killing, killing somebody. So pay attention to what's going on, everybody. Um, because things are getting weird. Things are getting um, worse. And be prepared. I know uh, I know that they're planning for all this stuff and they're ready to go. You know, we have evidence that all this stuff has been pre planned and, and pre-placed and everything's ready. They're done with their training. The UN troops are finished training. Um, so, you know, all they've got to do is get the word, go. And if there is these states in insurrection and uh, they say to shut them down, then uh, we're going to have, we're going to have some big trouble. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Do what you can to help others. Help yourself first so that you can help others. And get to know your neighbors because they're going to be the ones around you when you need somebody there. And we're going to have to be tight-knit communities. And we're going to have to watch each other's back to get through this stuff. Anyway, I hope everyone's well. It's Chatty Dad 1 over and out.